I'm Jason and welcome to Technique of the Week. Uh, today we're going to be showing you, um, when we have this, uh, this is about ready to stamp. Um, so we don't want the pattern that we're going to be doing on the main field part to, to get on the border. The first thing we're going to do uh, when protecting the border, we're going to take this really thin mill plastic. It's, I think, like one mil or 0.75 or something mil plastic. Really, it can be anything that's, that's, that's pretty thin like that. And what we've done is cut it in the exact width of, of the border that we have here. And then we're just gonna place that on there. And this does two things. It helps protect it, and it actually keeps the concrete really nice and moist here on the edge. So when you pull this back off, it's very easy to, to retrowel it. Next thing we're gonna do is the same glass board that we were using in the groove. Uh, we're gonna take it and we put the, uh, there's two sides to these. There's a smooth side and a, and a dimpled side. We always put the, the uh, smooth side down. We're gonna lay it right on here. And what this, if we were just to stamp on, on this plastic, it's still gonna make those marks in it from the mats. So what this does is it's rigid enough that when the stamps for the field color go uh, over top onto this, it's not gonna leave that, that line in it. What we're gonna do is just lay these the whole way along there. Now after we stamp them, we can just keep moving them down the, down the row. Now when I throw my powdered release, I know that plastic's underneath there. I'm not getting it on the border. When you trial powdered release, it doesn't, uh, it makes streaks. It's, it's real nasty once you get hit, your trial hits it. And you'll always see that, because that'll be a darker area then if you hit the uh, powdered release. So we've got the field area stamped. Again, like I said before, this is a seamless mat, so it's not as critical. But um, if this was a pattern, you know, we would want to uh, definitely have these on here. So I'm just going to peel these off now. First couple. Um, now I can peel the first piece of plastic off. What this does, you can tell how nice and clean it keeps it. Um, and what this also does is, like I said, if it was really hot out, you know, um, that border always is the last thing to get, and it usually gets, you know, pretty hard. Um, by having this plastic on there, you're locking all the moisture in, so it's staying a little bit uh, more pliable a little bit longer. So that's another good thing. So now the plastic leaves a couple little, you know, wrinkles in it and stuff. So I'm just going to take a, a trowel. It's about the same size as the border. I'm just going to hit it one time, you know, give it, slick it down one time with this. It's the little things like this that make a big difference in a job and how it looks. It's just, just little tips and tricks like this that, I mean, you can tell how nice and smooth that's going to be, you know, when we go to, to stamp this, it's going to, we're going to leave a nice crisp impression. So that's it for uh, Technique of the Week this week. Again, you know, really appreciate you guys watching. Uh, check out the, uh, the Facebook page. Make sure you like that, Technique of the Week. And also, you know, make sure you sign up. So um, have a great weekend, and we'll see you next time.